Hello, I'm Linda and this lesson is about Rana Plaza and trade unions. Let's find out a bit more. Okay, so we're going to do a quiz, some reading, some grammar practice and some writing. Here's the quiz. There are five questions with three possible answers each. Pause the screen and see which answers you think are correct. Okay? Ready? Okay. Um, you can look at this infographic afterwards or pause the screen now and look at it to find the answers. Or you can find it in the, um, this issue of New Internationalist called Trade Unions. These are the answers. Did you get them correct? It's interesting to find out more about trade unions around the world and you can read more about that and look at the infographic later. For now, um, do you remember this terrible news item? What was the story? When, where and why? Okay, so this was um, a factory, a clothing factory called Rana Plaza in Bangladesh, which collapsed. And it collapsed because of bad health and safety regulations. And they were people who were making clothes to export all over the world. So where was Rana Plaza? When did it happen? How many people died? Why? And which organization could help stop this happening again? I want you to find those answers from the next slide. Okay, so where, when, how many died, why, and what organization could help stop this? Ready? You can pause if you need more time. Okay. So where was Rana Plaza? This was in Bangladesh. When? 2013. How many people died? It was terrible. 1,130 people died and 2,500 injured. Why? The factory collapsed. And which organization could help stop this happening again? And this is the trade unions, okay, to bring some rights to workers. There's some more reading now, and I want you to find out and make a list of some of the problems with unions in Bangladesh and some solutions. There are three screens. Um, you can pause each one as we go. Ready? Problems and solutions. This is the first slide. Ready? Next one. Second one. And the last one. Okay, so there are several problems and, and some solutions. We're going to look at some grammar now, which is related to this context. Can you complete the black sentence on the left with the words in blue on the right? You have to put the words, the blue words in the right order. You can pause the screen to do that now. Okay, ready? 
This is the answer. Did you get that? If it had been an hour later, it would have been full of 6,000 workers who wouldn't have been able to escape the factory. It's complex grammar. Well done if you got it right. We'll do some more practice though. The middle sentence now, you need to complete with all the brown words in the right order. Again, pause the screen to see if you can complete that sentence. Okay, ready? If they had been in a union, maybe they would have been able to say no. So we need to think about the tenses here and the grammar and practice a little bit more. Which tenses are these? Yeah, in the first half, past perfect, if they had been. And in the second half of the sentence, it would have been is we can call it the past conditional. So what is this grammar? Um, what do you usually call this type of sentence? Um, you can call it the third conditional or the past conditional. And these are conditional sentences talking about something finished and in the past that we cannot now change. The tenses. Yep, past perfect and past conditional. Okay. So here are some sentences to complete. Because they're in the past, we can't change them, but you can imagine different alternatives. I want you to pause the screen and complete these four sentences in the third conditional, okay? Okay, ready? So check that you have the past conditional in your second half of the sentence. So it has to have would or wouldn't, then have, and then a past participle. Check the meaning of the result of that condition as well. If possible, share your sentences with somebody else to check. Okay, so your writing task at the bottom of the screen is to write an informal letter to a friend, persuading him or her to join a union. Uh, you can write about the situation in, in Rana Plaza in Bangladesh and how the union would have protected the workers. Um, and you can read some more about trade unions first from issue 495 of the um, New Internationalist on the Easier English Wiki. Okay, thank you.